10, I'm Mitch Carr. In-person learning will have to wait for students at high school in the Cave Creek Unified School District. The principal at Cactus Shadows High School says the school doesn't have enough staff to safely open. Team 12's Josh Sanders spoke with parents and students, and Josh, some parents were frustrated by the principal's decision, while others say they understand. Hey there, this weekend was supposed to be a launch back to normalcy for students with the Cave Creek Unified School District. That's after the school board voted unanimously to return back to class on Tuesday, but the Cactus Shadows Falcons are going to have to wait. We all remember that first day of school feeling. That was yesterday. I, I, I went to school and I got my uh, ID. Xander Simmons is a freshman at Cactus Shadows High School. For weeks, class has been one Zoom after another, and this coming Tuesday was supposed to be his first day as a Falcon on campus until it wasn't. Because yesterday we were going back to school and now we aren't going back to school. And so it's, I don't know that. what to say. Yeah. That's because Friday afternoon, school principal Tony Vining posted on the district's Facebook page that CSHS didn't have enough staff to safely open. Michelle Williams' son Nathan is a senior and on the court standout at the high school. <laughs> Both of them disappointed in Vining's announcement. Uh, the online learning is a, is a big challenge for these students, and they really want to be back in the classroom where they learn the best. I understand the, the caution that the teachers are, are moving with, but I feel like the students deserve a choice, and I don't feel we have a choice right now. Xander and his mom, Tammy, understand the delay. I want to go to school, but I don't want to go to COVID school. I see all sides of it, so... Yeah, I it's mean, so hard. I mean, it's I just, crazy. It just is heartbreaking and heart wrenching to see these high schoolers not be able to interact and not be able to engage. Terry Thatcher is running for a spot on the Cave Creek Unified School Board. She says families deserve options for their students after the district met reopening benchmarks. Which would mean maybe having two days in one class or two days for certain people and then two days of instructional online learning for those those opposite days. And we reached out to the district regarding reports of teachers resigning and calling out. We have yet to hear back. Thatcher says as of now, both parents and students are set to be here Tuesday morning to protest the principal's decision. We're in Cave Creek. Josh Sanders, 12 News.